Hey everyone, this is DW's Darius, and welcome to another day in the fish room. So today I have a quick video for you guys, and I want to share my new aim when it comes to protecting my fish from parasites. So right now you're looking at my 55 gallon grout aquarium. I have several fish in this aquarium that are infected with a internal parasite. This internal parasite is known because my fish are refusing to eat, and also they are pooping white stringy poop. This parasite is not visible to the human eye, but these are the signs usually of parasite. So I have my geophagus cichlid in this aquarium. He's infected along with my female green, my female green terror. And then I have fish in my 210 gallon aquarium infected as well. My two mesoharis or not as cichlids. So I bring them all down to this 55 gallon aquarium where I'm currently treating them for these parasites. Now the crazy thing is I haven't added any new fish to my 210 gallon aquarium for my mesoharis or nodus to be affected. Now we all know that one of the most common ways parasites enter into the aquarium is by adding a fish that is already affected with the parasite. But as I said in my 210 gallon aquarium it's been months since I added any fish and yet my two mesoharis or nodus cichlids are infected with a parasite. I can't say the same thing for my 55 gallon aquarium because I just added these small little tilapia cichlids a few weeks ago. But the crazy thing is that these tilapia cichlids are not affected. However, these other two fish are. So um, it was trying to, it was kind of crazy for me to piece it together. So I went online, I did a little bit of research, and I came to an article that was very interesting, and a couple of different forums agreed with this article, and it said that in the water column, even in, in the air we breathe, um, there are small, undeveloped parasites just, they're dormant, they're not, a, they're not really in attack mode, they're just in a stage of life that's not really activated I can't really explain it I'm still learning this stuff myself but it's kind of like an unactivated stage of the parasite so it's in the water it's in the aquarium and it's just in there and it's waiting for the opportunity and the moment our fish's immune system go down it attacks same thing with us humans there's all different types of bacteria and things around us and the moment we um, lower our immune system we get attacked same thing with fish but um, I found that to be extremely interesting because it definitely makes sense I haven't added any fish once again to my 210 gallon aquarium and yet these parasites magically just pop up inside these fish so it means that these parasites were already in my aquarium and it just took for my fish to lower their immune system and then they were attacked now if we go to a little bit greater detail these muscle hairs are not a cichlids which were living inside of my 210 gallon aquarium they are a little bit mild compared to the other fish in that aquarium i have fish like my red terror on uh, my severum which is like the meanest severum i ever kept um, and just a few of the fish that are known to be aggressive. While these mesoharis or not cichlids are a little bit on the milder side, they're kind of like geophagus. And these mild fish being in a tank with aggressive fish, I guess, well, no doubt they were at the bottom of the food chain. They were at the bottom of the hierarchy, but I guess that had a big toll on them. They didn't really like it, and that caused them to stress out. The stress led to the lowering of their immune system, and that led to the parasite being able to be activated or to develop. It just caused the parasite to be able to break past their immune system and to attack them. So now that I pieced that together, that definitely makes sense. And same thing when we look at this 55 gallon aquarium. These tilapia that I recently added show no signs of the parasite they eat like pigs. However, this geophagus, which also is a fragile fish, same thing with the green terror. These fish are pretty fragile when it comes to um, different things in your water. So the moment that and I was doing a lot of changes with this aquarium, so I'm guessing the stress from all my different changes lowered their immune system and it, call, it caused these parasites to attack them. Now, once again, I just read about this stuff today, so I'm not really fluid or my understanding is still developing, but basically we have parasites in our aquariums that we can't see. Somehow doing water changes once a week doesn't get rid of them and they're waiting for the opportunity to strike our fish. So what am I doing now that I know this? Now I'm focusing on building up the immune system of my fish. Now I've been doing different things. Firstly, the basics is trying to create the most perfect or stress-free environment as possible. Um, environment as possible. So by doing that, you know, you just want to make sure tank mates are in order. I think that's my worst problem. I mix fish that shouldn't be mixed. And when you have a peaceful fish or a fish that's not as aggressive, mixed with extremely aggress aggressive fish, it can lead to stress, which gives us a gateway for that parasite to attack. Um, I read, and other other ways that fish get stressed out include poor water qualities, which I think, for me, this isn't really 
the case because I do my best to keep my water nice and pristine. But I think my main case is aggression. But you know, different things like that cause the fish to lower your immune system. So now my goal is to keep a stress-free environment. And I also do a few other things to help build up their immune system, like adding additional vitamins to the water. Now usually I read that the food that we feed, if we're feeding a good brand of food, we don't have to worry about adding vitamins to the food. But I also read that certain foods, even though they have a lot of vitamins in them, when you open a seal, eventually day by day, the vitamin, the power of it goes down. So because of that, I've been adding chimmy Pure Cherry Vita, I forgot the name of it, but I'll give you guys a quick look of it. Um, I've been adding this stuff to my aquarium once a week just to help build up that immune system, not just to the fish that are affected, but I say being that these parasites are unseen and they're pretty much in all my aquariums, so I might as well treat all of them. And on top of that, I've been soaking some of my fish food in garlic guard, which also helps build up the immune system. But this is a topic that I'm just getting into, so I still have a lot more research to do. But I just thought it was necessary to give you guys just a heads up that we do have parasites in our aquariums, whether we see them or not, whether we see our fish um, affected or not. And um, I think it was just very shocking to notice, even though once a week I do my water changes, I do salt treatments, even though in the past when I had the obvious signs of parasites, I treated with all these different chemicals and medications and stuff like that. Um, these parasites are still in the water and they're just waiting for the opportunity to strike our fish. So I say let's just do what we got to do, build up that immune system of our fish and just make sure that they're prepared. So I will be coming back eventually in the future with more detail as I learn more about it. But for now, i give you guys that. Um, as always, if any of you guys know anything on this topic, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. And any questions, once again, I'm not fully educated in this topic but i'll give you guys any information that i do know if you do have any questions but yeah that's that was very interesting i thought i'd share and that is my time for the day i know it was short but um this is short notice something that just really twisted my mind and i definitely had to share but once again thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video and i'll catch you guys on the next one